Hello, I'm not Junction. Just an update. You've seen uh, most of this before. I've got some new stuff to show you. I've explained you. The trains are running. I'll show you the over in a minute. Let's, let's go through this first. Right up here. We decided not to go with the tunnel, the feature in the tunnel plan. It's just the it's just not, it's just one grip in me. So what I decided to do now is basically leave it as it is. Um, platforms will go there, but they're going to be a lot longer than that, obviously. So that's, you can see the cracks. Two tracks, two tracks, two tracks. Um, so we can bypass, leave two trains in, and still have. Uh, put four trains in I still have two running so that's the idea there um, there's some curve points here as you can see another one over there point system here two tracks along here the town built up there in the corner this you know it's just this is just there as a visual thing um, we've got all it's going to be like here and then I thought I'll have a road coming across the back so it gets a bit of a split level atmosphere all the way along with some tennis houses and a road and then in the centre up by the station platforms are going to be two metres long which is there look so they're going to be a fair old length they've got to be really to take the trains that I want to run up here I want trains that are sort of this length at the minimum basically up here running at a reasonable speed because it's a main line layout at the end of the day at the back there i'm not quite sure yet there'll be some sort of storage facility maybe a tnd at the up in this corner at the back here there's back seams to finish off and also along the front of here i'm going to put like a valance here so it'll stick up over the top to create a wall and it'll come down to about there. So it'll sort of finish this edge off um, and hide the wires a bit, etc. So the back, and that's going to go all the way around the layout. Some sort of balance there to hide all the, you know, the ugly bits. Um, yeah, so that's basically up there. What we've got. I'm still waiting for stuff to come. I'm still waiting for my bits for my controller to get the sound going. I'm waiting for locomotives. I'm waiting for tracks. I'm waiting for solder, you name it, I'm waiting for it. Christmas, isn't it? You know what's right? They all be to Amazon, they all gone nuts, the postman's too busy, can't go. Um, so we'll see you all might come tomorrow perhaps. So uh, let me just turn, turn these down up here and let's keep a little noise down while I explain what's going on down here now. Um, so down here this is pretty much much the same. Nothing's really changed. I put that point in there to create two tracks for the yard. But unfortunately, doing this, I've lost a spring. I've lost a spring out of this point now. And you think I can find a, a phone too? No. So I'm either going to have to... It's a bit ropey, this point, to be honest. I might buy a new one for that. I don't know. But the spring is in this area, but if you, I, mean, I, I just cannot find locator. Um, so anyway, it's my fault. The cover came off this plate the other day, and I thought, should I glue it on? I thought, well, no, so I might want to put a micro switch in there uh, for the frog. I don't know. So I undid it. I didn't bother, and I'm putting a bloody thing in today, and a spring popped out. Sod floor. Um, why didn't I stick the thing on the other day? Never mind. So there we are. We got the point where it's running nice now. It's on here. I mean, I don't know if you've seen this bit, to be honest. Um, I put another loop in on the outside main line. So rather than just have one train on that uh, particular line, I can put another one in. And when I go to DCC, maybe I can put, I'll get, probably get two on that line, you know. So the sidings are in. Um, this one now is, is sort of a passenger complete where the pannier is. As you can see, there's a couple of freights I've put in. I've been shunting back and forth, messing about, uh, practicing shunting and all that sort of thing. 
and there's a point here then which takes it on a separate route up there to the uh, maintenance yard and just a freight route really the two passenger loops are going to be there with the, with, uh, the platforms either side of the tracks ruralise all the end I think I've told you all this before it's, it's going to be a lot of ruralisation down here now the reason why I moved all this track forward is because I'm intending to build a big viaduct here from about there all the way along all the way along, all the way along, and curve it round to about by here. So the yeah, reason why I'm only going to there is because I need to get in there in the summer to open that patio door because it gets boiling in here. And uh, yeah, I need I need room, so I can't really do anything here now. I decided I'm just going to balance it, um, and you know I don't know. Well, I don't know really, but that's what I'm intending to do. I was going to get some plywood yesterday, but with one thing or another, I didn't bother to actually. I'll do it in three mil ply, probably, with arches, and I'll do it with the old um, polyfiller, PVA. Build it, PVA it, and then polyfiller it, and scratch stone work out in it. Whether it's uh, weather wash it and try and get a, like a limestone sort of effect. There, so that's that should look all right. If, well, if I can get it, get it to happen. Um, so that's why the track work has been left there. I'm still not sure whether to build the ground level up here, along there, and then have the pillars come in on top because of the different gauges. Because that's double O and this is O. Um, the dilemma I got is, what do I build? What scale do I build the pillars to? And I thought, well. <coughs> It does, you know, I mean, probably old scale. <clears throat> I don't think it makes a lot of difference, really, in this instance. <clears throat> but I've got to think about that. How I'm going to do the pillars, what I'm going to do them in a double old scale. Or, or, you know, so, yeah. So that's it there. I still haven't changed my mind. What I'll do then, if I put an arch, if I put a curved archway around this corner, I thought, what I'll do, I'll bring a conveyor belt through one of the arches, Cross the main lines here, and, and I was like this. I was on about putting a, a coal wharf here. This will be the key wall uh, with trains and uh, coal operations going on from the, like the 1960s. Just about gone in there before they, they all, before they finished it down in South Wales. They were still exporting coal uh, the old traditional way with sides and lifting, tipping the wagons in. They were still doing that when I was a kid. So, you know, in the 60s, so uh, it's sort of, it's sort of, that was the end of it then. It was all bulk coal in bulk carriers, but um, yeah, the, uh, that's the shape, that's the crack. I'm not really going to do anything down here, I'm going to create something down here, but nothing, there's no track going down here now. I decided there was enough track there, I'm not putting no more track down, it's just, it's too much, you know. So, yeah, this will be some sort of, well, I'm not sure. Something's going to go there. The station isn't. Um, I just put that there the other day trying to scan something, but uh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, so yeah, that, that'll be some sort of town, village, or a rural, I don't know. And the same down in this corner and up on top of here, because I'm putting a viaduct in, I thought, well, it's not going to look right, but listen, you know, it's, it's, it's a model. So I'll, I'll just develop the top and have the arches showing. I'll develop behind the arches with some sort of rock, you know, whatever, scenic thing. And uh, so when you look through the arches, you see all the scenics. And then when you come above it, although you shouldn't, there shouldn't be, there is still going to be scenics there. Uh, you know, sometimes you're just going to go with it. A uh, little bit of scenic development there in that corner, probably. Um, I'd say a road along the top there. Yeah, so waiting for stuff. I'm still soundless. I'm still DC. I haven't got my DC. So, so yeah, as soon as it all comes, I can get and get cracking. Um, I got no solder. I have got solder, but it don't seem to be any good. But uh, I, I, I brought this. It's not the solder I usually get. Anyhow, I think don't think the uh, solder iron is getting hot enough for it. So the other solder I use is, is quite adequate for that old soldering iron. 
so I've had to order a different solder. I'm not getting another solder or anything. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, as soon as we get that, I can solder some droppers and carry on with this trap work. I got, um, I got some crisp plates the other day. So, yeah, that's the plan. I'll leave you in the trains. Bye for now. Thanks for watching, catch you again.